Hey, I'm James. Now this is the Shure SM7B. It's Shure's legendary vocal microphone. It's used by podcasters all over the world to record their podcasts, and it was used by Michael Jackson to record the Thriller album, which is interesting because Shure have just released this which is the MV7 podcast microphone. It's $250, the SM7B is $400, but which do you think sounds better? Let's find out. All right, so let's first of all, let's have a look in the box. Firstly, we see welcome to better sound. I'm already getting excited. Let's pull this bad boy out, as they say. <laughs> Right, boom. Don't care about that, don't care about that. I care about this. So let's have a look. There we go, very nice. I went for the silver edition, as you can see. And um, we've got sort of digital display along the top. Very, very similar in form factor. Of course, we have USB uh, and XLR. Interestingly, they've gone for a micro USB. I thought they'd go for USB-C, but there we go. And of course, headphone out. Now I'm going to be testing this using the XLR port today, just for a fair comparison. I might even throw in a recording via the USB as well, but I want to see how this compares to the SM7B. So let's plug it in and let's find out. Cool. Okay, so I've got both of these microphones now connected up to my computer via the Universal Audio Apollo Twin interface, which is great because it has a sufficient amount of gain to power the SM7B, which is notoriously gain hungry. I've actually got the gain up to around 60 dB on the SM7B, and I've got the gain to about 55 on this new MV7. I wanted to really see, like as you can hear here right now, like one of the main things about these microphones, which is great for podcasters, is the off axis rejection. So if I'm over here, you can't really hear me very well, but as soon as I'm close up and in front of these microphones, it's picking me up great. Now, I wanna see what you think of the audio quality. So I'm recording both of these simultaneously. No processing has been applied to either of them. Um, they're just going straight in through the Apollo Twin into Audacity. I'm recording on two different channels. And here we go. So this is the Shure SM7B for reference. And now this is the Shure MV7. Can you tell the difference? One is $250. One is $400. The main benefit to the $250 microphone is it's got a USB as well as an XLR. So although it does still seem quite gain hungry when I've plugged it into the uh, interface, I've still got the gain up higher than I would have a condenser microphone. It's not quite as hungry as the SM7B, but I think both of these microphones sound pretty good. I wanted to see what you think of the comparison though. So we'll do that again. We'll switch to the Shure SM7B. This is the Shure SM7B right now. You can hear what that sounds like. And then we'll switch back to the MV7. This is the MV7 right now. And I wanna see what you think. And now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna plug it into the USB and see how that sounds. So although this microphone doesn't actually come with a USB-C on the back, one of the things it does come with is a micro USB to a USB-C cable, which allows me to connect it to my iPad. Now, this opens up a whole world of possibilities. As you can see right now, I'm recording this on the Voice Notes app. Obviously, you can connect this to GarageBand as well. But basically, this is a portable studio on the go I have right here, which fits in you know, my bag and gives me really good sort of studio quality recordings, but I thought I'd just show you the versatility of this mic. Now what I want to do is just connect it to the computer and get a recording on Audacity so you can compare it to uh, the XLR connection. And of course, you be the judge. I want to know what you think of this audio quality versus the SM7B. Please let us know in the comments below. Okay, uh, just finally then, I've switched from my uh, iPad to my iMac and I've got um, Audacity recording directly from the USB interface, which is built into the MV7. Here we go. This is what it sounds like. Um, I'm sure you'll agree. They all pretty much sound very, very similar. But I want to know in the comments below what you think of the difference between the classic SM7B that's been around for years and it's a workhorse in lots of podcasting studios, including our own, and this new sort of all-encompassing MV7. You know, it's got XLR, it's got USB, um, and of course, you know, you can put your headphones into it. You can even connect it to your iPad. I think it's a pretty nifty bit of kit, but I want to know what you think about the sound quality. Put it in the comments. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my channel. 
as I'm constantly pushing out great quality content all about podcasting, radio, broadcasting, streaming, and all that cool stuff. Um, and if you found this video useful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Look forward to speaking to you soon. Take it easy. Hey, before you go anywhere, I have a quick question for you. Do you have a podcast? And if you do, do you want to book more interesting, high profile guests on your show? Well, if you answered yes to either of these questions, I'd love to invite you to come and join our community over at matchmaker.fm. Matchmaker is a service that connects awesome podcasts just like yours with incredible and high profile guests that make for really interesting conversations. It's really straightforward to get started and completely free to sign up. Just connect using your LinkedIn, Facebook, or Google account, and then you can begin connecting with guests based on their area of expertise, location, and much more. If you haven't checked it out already, go to matchmaker.fm, get started. It's just like Tinder, but for podcasters.